Hey everyone, thank, thank you for, for, for joining me uh, for another encouragement session. Uh, thank you for, for coming to the Brian T. Murray YouTube channel. Uh, I'm your host, Brian. Uh, I, have, I have tons of content for you to enjoy and to enjoy, and for you to <coughs> digest and to consume and and just just a lot of good stuff over here. So uh, I, I, I want to take the, the this moment to really talk about something. Um, I want to talk about protecting the black male image. I want to talk about protecting the black male image. This isn't going to be a long video, but, but I did want to uh, talk about it. So we are in a place in modern day history where uh, the idea of the black man has just been so diminished. It's that it it's the value of it doesn't mean anything to 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 one specific group. Okay, in particular, within our own race. Okay, uh, I'll 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 start it off with uh, this a, a, a example. I had a friend a couple weeks ago text me. I, I forgot exactly what we were talk, talk, talking about. Um, she mentioned that um, she had a brother, and I was like, I, I didn't know you, you, you had a brother. She's like, yeah, yeah, I have, I have X amount of siblings. And what really caught my attention was, yeah, my father was a hoe. So, so he has a lot of children everywhere, and like that, 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 that just, that just rubbed me wrong. It does. Well, why did it rub, rub, rub you wrong? Easy, because who goes around saying, "Oh yeah, my mother was a hoe," because, because she has children uh, from, from different. No one says that. No one says that. It is more prone for a child to call a black child to call their black father a hoe then their black mother who will do the same exact thing that's where we are we have no regard in how we talk about our, our, our black fathers we have no regard to how we talk about our black men it's because we have had 40 years of uh, women's media going all the way back to the early 80s and we just saw it fester. I, I watched that growing up and I'm like, this is problematic. I mean, this this is, I mean, as a child, it's like this, this is because the host, the host is, is a woman, 95% female crowd you, you get and you got 40 years of that so it's nothing for a woman in particular women in general black women in per, per particular to bad mouth their husband their boyfriend the children and, 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 and they're and they're taking it from society they are taking it is it, because all we do is just bad mouth our, our black. Oh, we have problems in our family. It must be because of the uh, father. What we don't talk about is, I'm looking at, at, at the stat right now. 51% of black men are single and are without children. 64% of them are in the middle class. However, there are more single men without children than, than there are single mothers without children. So what do, uh, does that mean? So what does that mean? What it means is a large portion of black single women are impregnated by a small pool of black men who have other children. That's fascinating to me. It's because the way we paint the, the picture is oh all men, all men, 
Oh, black man. Oh, my goodness. He a whole sheep. Hey, 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 hey. There is a... The majority of black women are carrying a, or have carried a, a child from a black man that also had other children by other women. So when do we begin to hold that accountable? Because again, we we don't we don't we don't call our mothers hoes. <laughs> we don't we don't do that. <laughs> but we will call our father one and don't think twice about it. That's a problem. So I have just naturally just felt this uneasiness like huh this has got to stop so how do we go about changing this we go about changing it by number one talking about it okay if your husband baby daddy whatever just say him don't paint all black men because no more all black men don't even know you <laughs> you have not addressed the fact that you are a bad chooser yes you chose the worst one or in the category of the worst ones okay hey <coughs> sorry uh, yeah he he this and he don't he don't do this and the blah 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 oh yeah, yeah. but you chose him you carried before you were married yeah yeah you know about about that 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 time timeline of a realization that this guy is never going to marry me I, i'm just sex to him you know that's what women have to recognize okay i believe that we need to stop the casual dating situation i i i really do especially in this uh day and time where uh, the modern woman is more likely to have sex with you than, than to tell you that she loves you. That sounds backwards, right? That sounds backwards, right? This whole Netflix and chill is like she's more likely to have sex with a basically a stranger at her place of residence before going on a proper date with you. <laughs> okay, so all the bad things that comes from that they uh, they put on the uh, man in particular the the uh, the uh, the uh, black men okay number one things can only go bad in a relationship if uh, two participate in it it takes two to participate in something bad going wrong in a relationship it takes two okay as 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 my current pastor says there's no one who is a hundred percent guilt-free no one okay he may have done the extreme thing but don't act like you are a, a, a angel and ha haven't done anything a at all okay so it's just so bad and 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 something that uh dr miles monroe said years ago he said we should always respect the office of authority we should always respect the, the office of authority authority because if we do not that means people who are around us and who come along behind us will go about disrespecting the office of authority when they disrespect the office of authority it loses value and this is where we are in, in today's society the idea of a black man doing anything to his own people that's like who's he <laughs> who's he and this happens because 80 percent of children are born in a single parent home 80 percent 80 percent 50% um, sorry only 30% of that 80% are uh, born in single fathers uh, uh, homes okay so you 
uh, get your narrative, you get your talking points, you get most everything from the black woman. The black woman, especially today's modern woman, do not hold the black man in higher regard by no means. She may like the dude that she's currently dating. She may like her, her father who does everything for her. But again, it's still about all about her. It's still all about her. Only liking the, the dude who does the right things by you, that doesn't help the situation because that's still personal. Like, oh yeah, my my brother is a good guy. My father is is a good guy. My uncle is a good guy. The black men in general, no, 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 no. See, that, 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 that doesn't help. It's because your father, uncle, and brother, all they got to do is mess up one time in your eyes and you you will allocate them into the rest of the uh, group. So, black, black men. And then you wonder why black men are not lining up to marry you. A lot of black women have been engaged. It is not uncommon to come, come across a 40-year-old black uh, woman who, who has been engaged once or twice. The problem I have with that is they carry that around as if it is a, a badge of honor. It's not. <laughs> Is <laughs> because if you're not married, nothing counts. That's how it is. If you're not married, nothing counts. Because the marriage piece is so important is because we are talking about legacy. It's all about legacy. It's all about legacy. See, it is a difference from having two parents and siblings and children versus one single baby mama and one baby or three three babies technically that is a family but there's no legacy why it's because there's no family structure you you just have a group of survivors you are a family technically you are but but you're surviving you you are you are you you're just emotionally social e economically surviving there is no legacy in in the, in, involved. Very rare of us uh, black men become Kevin Durant and give the awesome MVP speech he, he did dedicated to, to his mother. Very few of us become that. <laughs> like 99.5% per, per, per of us don't become that. Okay? Why are you desiring to be married to a black man when you don't think high enough of him? I know why. Because you're selfish. You are selfish. It's all about what you want. The idea of you not being married, you have not, you are 40, 50 years old and it has not clicked that, huh, what does he want? Yeah. What does he want? Because you are treating him as if he's an accessory or a pet. He's a man. He's a human being. So, in particular, into the Christian church, and, and, and I hate hearing this, Lord, send me a husband. Lord, send me a man. As if as if he's sitting around somewhere waiting to get his assignment to come and please you. Are you are, are, are you nuts? Are you nut? That's not how, how men... This is why men <laughs> avoid church. Because church is, 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 is a realm of ir irrationality. That's what church is. It's a realm of irrationality. I'm with the 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 kingdom of God. I, I'm with healing. I'm with uh, salvation. I'm I'm with all of that. Obviously, I'm, I'm with, with all of that. But keep in mind, you're still 80% occupied by the modern black woman. Sorry, the modern woman, <laughs> and she's not thinking about nothing else except what suits her. So she is 260 pounds with two, 
three or four other kids by by other men, plural, and she said, where is my husband? You, you went and lived your life however way because three to four human beings came out of your, your body. You're still carrying around the weight from that and you are asking for a husband as if he's a glass of water. Women think very low of black men. And I do put the emphasis on black men. It's because no other race, no other race are led by their women. No other race. No. The, the modern day family structure with big mama, mama, baby girl, and and the the uh, great granddaughter is going to target pre pre COVID post COVID is going to target four generations of, of women going to target together as if it was nothing. You don't see four generations of men going anywhere together. You don't see that. You don't see that at all. But they bad mouth us as if we're irrelevant as we're only here to please them let me first address that is that is a first world problem that is a first world problem <laughs> that no 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 countries <laughs> that don't have food <laughs> that don't have the internet <laughs> that they're, they're, they're not it, it's not even crossing their mind to bad mouth their men You're not getting someone from a gender that you don't respect. It's not happening. It's not happening. What do you mean the Lord won't send them? Watch this. If the Lord, to use your words, send him, you're so arrogant, you will mess it up in the first 90 days. So you will leave him and say and tell him he's not ready you see how, how arrogant that is one of many things made me very upset with with the, the christian black woman is when she would arrogantly say you're not ready she is overweight have a job not a career have a job have a job which means entry level she might have a, a, a she might have a, a, a certification here or there she is not feminine she is full-on masculine she she's not sexy or sensual okay she 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 only likes to talk about herself but she would tell you or or, or me I'm not ready as if I gotta qualify for her which she, the idea of her qualifying for me, no, no, because the black, the modern day black woman only thinks that black men should only receive their presence. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm me. <laughs> I mean, what, what else do you need? I'm, I'm me. Do, 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 do you hear the arrogance? So when women of other races approach us and they do, and they do. And, and, and we notice how different their approach is and how the, differently they talk than what we're used to. And then the black men, women will hold against, oh, you got you a white girl. Number one, you're, you, you have two, two main competitors and neither of the two is the white woman. <laughs> You have two main competitors, and neither is the white woman. The two competitors you have is the Hispanic woman. She 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 is just as ethnic as you are. She is just as curvy as as you are, and statistically more cooperative. 
but the number one woman of all women and particularly in this country is the Asian woman she is naturally fit naturally fit you don't see a whole lot of heavy set Asian women no no you don't see that the Asian woman is the number one preference of high value men if he does go outside of his his, his race he desires the Asian woman so you're so stuck on white girls it's like that shows just how far behind the game you are you're so far behind on the game that you think you are the number one overall draft pick where you're really Mr. Irrelevant in the NBA and NFL draft pick, the last one taken off the board, they have a, a nickname. The name is Mr. Irrelevant. You are the last person drafted. That's that's where the black woman is in all of her arrogancy. To me, there's nothing more beautiful than a black black woman, but not with that modern day attitude. No. Not when she thinks she she naturally thinks less of me. No. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. No. No. We are we have reached the era of the manosphere where men can use media, simple media. And share they, they, their their feelings and their thoughts and their teachings. Do do they get backlash all the time, all the time? And women who stand up for men, do do they get get threats all the time? Do do they face backlash all the the other time? I have I have, I have people who watch my social videos. In the last twenty eight days. As much as I teach on the kingdom of, of, of God and kingdom prosperity and have Bible study, my most watched videos are social economic videos, and and and, and a Wonder Vision review. Those are my most watched videos because men like to watch what affects them in their minds. They like to watch what affects them. Men are not watching, going, going in women's spaces and, and women's channels like, ooh, I wonder what they're talk, uh, talking about. Men don't do that. <laughs> women do that to men, but men don't, don't, don't do that because we don't care what women think. We don't. We don't care about women, what women think until we know they care about us. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We don't care about what women think until we know that they care about us. So we have a lot of misfortune, a lot of contempt for the black male image. If a black guy has done you wrong, make it individual. Do not make it general. Say his name, Tyrone did me wrong. Say that. Don't say black men are all dusties. Don't say that. Don't say that. No. No. Because the same black women are giving birth to future black men. See how, how, how that works? You, you, you hold your black son in so much honor and regard, but anyone outside of him, you think nothing, nothing else? You have to realize that still affects him. Like mom. Why don't you like men who look like me? Because yeah. because this is what you have failed to see. The men that you hate, they're, they are somebody else's son too. You know the love you feel towards your son or your sons? The men that you crap on, they are somebody else's sons. This is what you don't understand. So, I want to challenge 
and I really hate they doing that. I want I want to challenge all men, in particular black men, to start standing up for your image. When I was growing up, commandment number three: Thou shalt not use the Lord's name in vain. That could get you killed growing up. Growing up in the eighties. <laughs> That could get you killed on any, no warning, no warning, <laughs> no warning. Why? It's because you, we had to protect the sacredness of the Lord, even his name. But when it comes to a black man and it means nothing to anyone. Yeah. Why is it so important? to not use the Lord's name in vain. It's so important to not use the Lord's name in vain. See, see, and, and, and even now, when I say use the Lord's name in vain, people think I mean cursing. That's not what I mean. <laughs> when, I, when I mean use the Lord's name in vain, that means say his name and you're not having an active conversation with him. You're saying his his name in a laissez-faire third party type of conversation. Ah, oh, ah, ah, the Lord, ah, the Lord, ah, ah the Lord. Ah. No, no. He shall be honored, he shall be reverenced. The black male image, just, just like every other image, comes from the Lord. Comes from the Lord. Show honor to it. Show honor to it. Okay? Women will will take this video and say, I'm being disrespectful to them. No, I'm just protecting me and my brothers. My fathers, my uncles, my uh, cousins. We're, we, we are standing up for us because no one else will stand up for us. The baby boomer generation was was not great at staying at home for what, what whatever reason. Even if they were home, they weren't emotionally there. So uh, we have one, two, three generations that, that grew up with the shell of, of the father is home. So so there's no real active positive you know influence of of black males being being at home so yeah so we change the narrative by having monologues and dialogues like this okay i'm not attacking anyone i'm protecting men who look like me just like when we're stopped by the police Men who look like me are more prone to stop exponentially more than anybody else. So when you come against men who look like me, I take that very personal. I really do. So again, we're more prone to say that our father is a whole, but our mothers who do the same exact things and have the same number of children, we don't call her a hoe at all. Why? Because she's he's our, our, our mother. We reverence her. Our fathers mean nothing to us. And that's why we're dying as a people. So, to get honor, you have to sow honor. Don't don't think you're, you're going to live 30, 40, 50 years bat bam offing black men and then wonder why you are still single. No. <laughs> no. It doesn't work that way. God will see to it. <laughs> it does not work that way. No. 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 Relationships are reflective. You tend to draw what you are. If you're ignorant, you are going to draw someone ignorant. If you're ghetto, you're going to draw someone ghetto. Amen. Relationships are re reflective. So I just wanted to uh, share that. Um, and uh, just. Be mindful about what you're saying. Just be mindful about what you're saying. There is, and and 
and and really I, I, I have I have to credit Pastor Bill Winston for, for pointing the, the, this out is because because I never seen this before until until he, he pointed it out. When Jacob was stopped by his uncle Laban, because Laban was offended that one of his idols was stolen. They they tracked him, Isaac and his and his entire family across the country if you will because they wanted to get that one idol back and they stopped him they they were abrasive and Jacob was just upset and he said why have you stopped me what have you have done me wrong these past 20 years you have done me wrong why have you stopped me now and Laban said one of you have taken one of my idols. Jacob said, I don't know anything. I don't know what you're talking about. So, whoever took the uh, idol, may, may they die. May they, whoever took it. Because for all, Jacob knew that that was a uh, lie because Laban has been lying to him for, for the past 20 years. What happened was, the woman he loved more than life himself, who was also Laban's uh, youngest daughter, Rachel. Rachel took the idol that belonged to her father, Laban. Watch this. Because Jacob didn't know who took the idol, Jacob pronounced a curse on the person who took it, not knowing who took it. Years later, Rachel, the woman he loves more than life itself, dies by giving birth. Why? Because of the curse that Jacob pronounced many years prior. And this is what I'm letting my black, my beautiful black women know. You are cursing your men and is doing more harm to you than you realize. Amen. Figure it out. God bless. Bye.